gable end flashing gable end flashing means you can see here between this roofing sheet and this side cladding sheet we have a space this space we need to cover using flashing that is called gable end flashing for that i just go to grid a and here it is grid a view we need to create complete this roofing sheet location we need to create the flashing go to the steel tab select here beam then make it here gable end flashing then if you go to the profile select here fpd in that you have to use this dimension you have to check this all the dimension which profile available in your market depends on that you have to create this dimension and all now i just go to apply and click ok next here it is material you can use any roofing material or market available material you have to use it or project standard as per project standard you have to use it next i just use this glass and here it is part number and assembly number i just keep as it is other all the thing keep as it is now i just go to click this point then just go to here click this point within few second it will create press control tab you can go to the 3d you can see here what we created so this is the flashing what we created this one we need to move and place it press control r click here then press control and click the left click and you can rotate like this now you can see here it is placed like this but we need to place it exactly here escape key select this one right click move click this point and we need to place it here now if you go to this side control r you can rotate and see here it is perfectly placed so this is gable end flashing now if you go to the grid view and here it is grid view now you can see here we fixed here but we need it this one up to here so press escape key select this one press alt in your keyboard you can select like this right click move click here this intersection any intersection point just click here then i place it here now if you go to the 3d you can see here what we changed you will get it up to here next now i just double click outside i just change this one depth so you can clearly you can see this one select this one right click copy special mirror you can click this point you can see here this point and click here then go to copy expand it here it is placed this one is placed like this and here it is placed here it is like this but here we need it select this one press alt and you have to select like this right click move you can click any location then shift right click make it perpendicular and here it is we need up to here now you can see here here it is coming like this but we need to arrange little bit for that i just go to edit select here fit part end select this one then you have to click this middle and click here you will get it straight similar way you have to select this one 
click this middle and place it here you will get it like this connection now we need it these two things that side also select this one right click copy special mirror click this point and click here then go to copy and click ok you can see here this side also it is fixed if you go to 3d view you can see everything here it is finished and here also it is finished full length of the sheet it is placed now we need to create same thing another side also this side also so for that press control tab press control and we have to select all the flashing then just place it like this go to the view select here work plane select work plane tool then i just place it like this then right click press escape key right click then select here copy special mirror click this point and we need to click this point middle then go to the copy expand then press escape key then if you go to this side you can see what we created this side you can see here roofing sheet is coming little bit outside so for that just go to view list select here plan this elevation now you can see here which side the roofing sheet is coming this side roofing sheet is coming little bit outside press control 1 you can see everything so just go here we need to trim and remove this roofing sheet so select the go to edit then go to line cut select this roofing sheet then click this purling end and click this location it will cut and remove similar way we need to continue all the area select this roofing sheet and click this purling end and click this roofing sheet it will cut and remove similar way repeat here also we have to check the purling here it is purling and click the purling and click the roofing sheet then similar way select here click the purling purling end click the roofing sheet now if you go to the 3d view press control tab you can go to the 3d view here it is perfectly placed you can see here this end flashing here it is fixed perfectly but here it is not fixed inside this sheet so for that we need to increase this flashing size so select this flashing now i just go here change this dimension it is 246 then enter then select this one right click move click this point and place it here now you can see this flashing is perfectly placed select this one copy this all the things then press escape key we need to make this all the things all the flashing select all the flashing control a delete it control v this profile then modify so all the profile we modify so that one we need to place it perfectly just go here first we need to fix this one select this one right click move click this point and place it similar way we need to make this one control r then rotate like this select this one right click move click this point and click here similar way that side also we need to make it just place it like this select this one right click move 
click this point and place it so now all the flashings are perfectly placed we need to check this location is perfectly placed or not because we arranged a little bit if it is not placed perfectly just go to the grid g view go to the view select here view list select here grid g double click this one it will open then if you go here you can see it is perfectly placed or not here it is not placed perfectly so we need to arrange that one just delete it and control z if you have any cut nothing problem so now i just go to here edit select fit part end select this one now i just click here and click here it is placed similar way we need to make it this also select this one and click this location and click here it is perfectly placed similar way we need to make it here also select this one then click this midpoint and click here it is okay select this one and click this location and click here it is perfectly finished so this is we finished all the roof corner gable end flashing